What's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna talk about what skills you need in order to become a blockchain developer. So if you are watching this video, I'm guessing you have some interest in blockchain and you wanna know if you are a good fit for it. For example, uh, do you need to be a genius in math to be a blockchain developer? Uh, do you need to be super good at cryptography? Uh, do you need to have like 15 years of experience uh, as a, a developer in order to get in the industry? I'm gonna answer all these questions in this video. And also I'm gonna tell you what are the different kind of position that you can have as a blockchain developer. Because being a blockchain developer is not a simple thing where you just have one kind of job, but you have several different kind of job. And for each kind of job, you have different skills that are required. Uh, by the way, if you want to learn how you can become a blockchain developer where I give a very uh, l very detailed explanation with 10 steps, you can go to the website of Eat the Blocks, create a free account and you're going to receive a PDF that is very, very comprehensive. It's super popular. I received a lot of good comments on it. All right, let's get to our topic. So what skill do you need? So first of all, most people who are newbies to blockchain, they think that in order to uh, be a blockchain developer, you, uh, you will need to, uh, to work on the technology itself. So that means you will uh, actually code Bitcoin or, uh, or Ethereum itself, the, the software. This is actually not the case. So these software, they're a little bit like uh, databases and the kind of developer that work uh, on this blockchain, on this software, they're like super hardcore developer with like many years of experience. Uh, they know very well how computer work at a very low level. Uh, they're very good at operating systems. Uh, they know very low level languages like C++, Go, uh, Rust, uh, how the file system work, how networking uh, works. Um, this is not easy, right? This is not like you're just, uh, just a newbie, you don't know nothing about programming and boom, like you're gonna learn all of this like that. So unless you're someone with a very long experience, that's gonna be a bit tough to be a blockchain developer, that, that, that's the thing I'm talking about. So that kind of blockchain developer, we call it core developer. But fortunately for you, this is just a very small part of the industry. Actually, more, most, develop, that, uh, most blockchain developers, they built what we call decentralized applications that are built on top of Ethereum or, or Bitcoin. So they are users of this software, but they don't get into the internals of, uh, of this software. They just use the API. And they don't even actually use the API directly because they use libraries that use the API. So it's even higher level. So these guys who build a decentralized application on top of a blockchain, actually most of their skills, they are the skills of web developer. Because contrary to what you might think, actually a decentralized application is 90% a web application and just a small percentage will interact with the blockchain and with the, the smart contract. By the way, the smart contract is a very small program. So uh, although it's not super easy to, to get it at the beginning, it's not as difficult as developing the blockchain software itself. So you can, so you can pick it up in a couple of months if, if you study this. But the point of what I was saying is that uh, the skills required to, to do this are the skills of a web developer. So uh, let's say you're a newbie and you don't have any experience with web development or limited experience with web development. Well, you can get up to speed for blockchain. I would say in a couple of months or six months, you can start to write like simple web application and then you can start to study the, the blockchain. So decentralized application are beginner friendly, but you need to do this first step of studying web development first. Okay, so uh, this is most blockchain developer that will build this decentralized application. And after that, you also have uh, another, um, so yeah, there are two other roles that are related and depending on the side of the organization you work for, this role might not exist independently. So what kind of role is the person that writes the smart contract? The smart contract is the part of your decentralized application that lives on the blockchain. So there are some big uh, decentralized um, companies, blockchain companies, 
where they have dedicated programmers who do only this. So this guy that really expert in the programming language Solidity. By the way, I have a very good tutorial on Solidity. I'm gonna give the link in the description. Um, so these guys, they do this all day. Uh, so they know Ethereum and Solidity very well. In general, they also know very well uh, security because security is really key when you develop a decentralized application. Um, and these guys usually they are well paid because what they do is quite critical because if there is a bug in the smart contract then this is there is a big issue people will uh, lose their money so as a result they have uh, a big responsibility but as I said before this kind of role is not uh, very common in general the the respon the person who will write the smart contract will also be the developer that write the front end of the decentralized application so these two things go together but there are some big organization where you have a dedicated person just for smart contract and in particular uh, organization the uh, companies that do a smart contract audit so in this case you will find the uh, this kind of uh, smart contract uh, developer if you're just getting started it's gonna be a bit difficult to uh, be just a smart contract developer because companies want you to have a couple of years of experience and to be really good at security. So I don't recommend to target this if you're a beginner. And the last kind of position that you can have in the blockchain industry as a developer is you can be a DevOps guy. So a DevOps guy is the one who set up the infrastructure of the app. So is the one who will uh, deploy the application on server. So you might think, oh, but I thought decentralized application didn't have a server. Well, it's not as easy. So the smart contract itself is on the blockchain, but you cannot ask an end user to communicate directly with the smart contract, right? Because the user are not going to use the command line and be like super geeky in the terminal. Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> the users in general, they interact with the smart contract by using a web application. Uh, but this web application, it has a backend. The backend usually is very simple. The backend just serve the front end. Sometimes it has a little bit more, but most of the time it's super easy. So we do need someone to deploy this. If it's just a very simple backend, the front end guy actually can take care of this. But if it's a little bit more so, uh, sophisticated and that there is some logic, some interaction with other API, then in some cases you can have a uh, DevOps who is specialized in dealing with a server, someone who knows uh, AWS or, or Azure really well. Uh, so that's one reason to have DevOps. Another reason is so not all blockchain are public blockchain like Ethereum or Bitcoin, but you also have what we call permission blockchain. So these are blockchain that, uh, that are private, that are used only between certain entities. So these are really used uh, by big companies like for example, industry consortium, uh, for example, for supply chain or banking. So these guys, they don't really wanna have a blockchain that everybody can use. They wanna have their, their own blockchain that, that is private, not open to the outside world. And so to, in order to develop on a, that kind of blockchain, we first need to, to deploy uh, all the nodes of the network. It's not like Ethereum where it's already out there. You don't need to, to take care of the infrastructure. It's already there for you. But for private blockchain, you need to deploy all of this. So this requires some uh, know-how. It's, uh, it's not super simple. And in general, we leave this task uh, up to... Uh, to, to DevOps engineer who, who know well that, that kind of thing, uh, but it's only in really in special case. So I would say if you, uh, oh yeah, and by the way, what about math and, uh, and cryptography? So cryptography and math is only really useful for core developer who, uh, who develop um, on, on the core, uh, on the blockchain software itself, but for all the other position, uh, you only need to understand some high-level concept of cryptography, but it's not really hardcore. Uh, you can just get it in a in, in couple of days. Um, so, as a conclusion, do you have the skills needed to become a blockchain developer? Well, the first question is, what kind of blockchain developer do you want to be? So, my tip 
is to start by, by doing the front end of a decentralized application, the front end and the smart contract. So that's the easiest kind of, uh, of position that you can have as a blockchain developer. And after that, if you want to specialize yourself in another area, for example, if you're bored of, of the, the dab, dab themselves and you want to work on, on the software, then you can start to be a core developer. Uh, if you want to deal with infrastructure, then you can become a DevOps engineer. And if you only want to do smart contract, then, then you can become a, a smart contract developer. But these are really specialization that you don't do first. All right, guys, so I hope that now everything is more clear in order in, in terms of what skill do you need in order to become a blockchain developer. If you have any question or if anything is unclear, please write a comment and I will answer you. Thanks for watching and see you for my next video. Bye bye.